Hi there, this is Nick Mudge. So I just uh, got done with a uh, video chat with Ivan on Tech. And uh, one of the questions he asked was, is when you have a diamond, how do you organize the functions in faucets? You know, like if you have a faucet, well, how do you know what functions to put into it? And that was a great question and I discussed that, but I thought it would be a good idea for to show an example, a real example of how uh, functions and faucets were organized. So here we have the uh, repo for Avogadro contracts and we have the faucets for here for for the um, Avogadro diamond here so um, I'll just uh, describe each faucet and uh, you know how this is organized and generally you want to take related functions and put them in their own faucet and that's that's what what I did here or what we did so the first faucet here is called Avogadro faucet now an Avogadro is an ERC721 function and this could be called the ERC721 faucet because it implements that standard ERC721 and it contains uh, those, those functions and make, makes sense those are all related functions they go in their own faucet but it probably wasn't uh, called, called ERC721 because it added a couple of other uh, functions uh, that are not ERC721 like uh, get Avogadro uh, here which provides you know a bunch of information about a particular Avogadro but here you see the, the ERC721 tokens uh, ERC721 functions like total supply balance of um, these other ones and uh, you know, owner of and here's the transfer functions part of the standard and so so there you go so that's that faucet Okay, second faucet here is Avogadro game faucet. So Avogadro is a game; it has game functionality. So the fu the game functionality for Avogadro is is there. You have like petting. You have uh, information about their um, traits and rarity scores. You know the, the game aspects are are, are in there. Uh, and then we have bridge faucet. So you people can bridge their Avogadro from uh, Polygon to Ethereum and bridge back. So we have uh, a faucet with those functions for being able to move it to Ethereum and and back. So then we have collateral faucet. Okay, so an Avogadro holds a collateral. Collateral is a a token from Ava, like uh, AUSDC, an interest-bearing token, can get transferred into an Avogadro. So an Avogadro increases in value, and so this collateral uh, faucet, um, you know, handle, handles that those those functions for. Uh, information about you know what's your balance for collateral and in, you can add more a tokens or, you know and, and lessen them okay and then uh, we have the the DAO faucet so the the DAO Avogadro DAO has the ability to um, to affect the Avogadro contracts it can do things like create a new haunt a haunt is where you know you're, you're going to be um, there's going to be a bunch of Avogadro, new new set of Avogadro that are going to be ready to be uh, sent out or sold. So uh, there's that. There's you know creating different different wearables and items for Avogadro, things like that. So we have um, ERC 1155 marketplace faucet. So this is for so people can buy and sell the wearables and other items for Avogadro. We've got a you know user interface for the marketplace, and it will talk to the dot the Avogadro diamond using the functionality in this faucet. Then we have okay, ERC721. This is for buying and selling Avogadro's. Escrow faucet. So each Avogadro actually has its own address. And you can send any ERC20 token to an Avogadro's address. And this is a way for an Avogadro to hold any ERC20 tokens. So that's what this tells. It's just functions for being able to deposit ERC20 tokens into an Avogadro. Uh, okay, and uh, you know we can batch do it, so we can send um, ERC twenty tokens from multiple multiple different kinds of ERC twenty tokens in a single transaction. So we can do it in batch, um, balance stuff, and then uh, okay, transferring. So okay, we have um, items faucet. So this is functionality for wearables. It's, it's, it's the reason this is not wearables faucet is because. There's two main items in Avogadro. You got wearables, so things you can put on the Avogadro that that improve its its traits, its rare its rarity score, it improves its game aspects, and also makes it really cool looking. And uh, so that the, the, the wearables are an item. Another item are consumables. Those are things like um, uh, things you can drink 
um, that then uh, affect your uh, experience, give you experience or give you other qualities, but once you consume it, then it's gone. So it's different than a wearable where you know it, do it doesn't go away. So items transfer faucet. So this is going to contain all the functions for transferring your wearables and items you know, to, to different people, to different things. And so this, is, this implements the ERC-1155 standard. Uh, you know, so we have, you know, safe transfer from ERC-1150. So all, all the transfer functions, again, so you see the idea where we, we put related fun, uh, functions in the same faucet where they make sense to, to be together. So um, probably the reason this is not called the ERC-1155 faucet is it includes other uh, fun functionality, um, some batch, but it also includes, um, yeah, so we have um, transfer to parent because you can take a wearable and you can transfer it to another, co another address, to another you know, person, but you can also transfer a wearable to another, to an ERC-721 uh, uh, token. So, because with these wearables, wearable, these wearables can be owned by Avagachis, they can also be owned by other ERC-721 uh, tokens that exist on the blockchain so that, you know, your whatever can own a hat, etc. So we have functions for that. All right, and then, okay, meta transaction support functionality there, shop, uh, so it's from, from time to time, Avagachi will, be, will sell items through its shop and its user interface, so faucets for that, SVG faucet, so all the artwork for Avagachis and its wearables and consumables and things are all stored on chain. And so this function is used to read, get that SVG uh, art or to, um, to, so, or to, to add more SVG art. So here, here you get the get Avagachi SVG function, you get a token ID and it's gonna return to you the SVG uh, art for, you know, off on chain art. It's gonna return that to you uh, for that for that particular token ID. So, and then okay, VRF faucet so that when when Abagachis are created, they have traits and those are random. And so we use VRF, which is um, chain links verify uh, was a verified random uh, function. Uh, so or something like that. So then uh, voucher migration faucet. So this is a kind of a legacy thing when uh, we had things on on the Ethereum blockchain. Okay, and then this this function. This is a there's a Chinese word here which means means fortunate or lucky. This was something that we we used to uh, help combat uh, bots early on when we were uh, had our first haunt where people could get abogachis. So uh, so that this is this is an example. So if we wanted to, if we had another thing we wanted to do, like uh, I don't know what it would be, but if we were going to add some more functionality, we could just add another faucet here. And uh, it's even possible like this could get really big. Like you keep adding faucets. Also, like if you know if we wanted to modify existing functionality of one of these faucets, we could just re we could replace it. We could we could make the the changes. And so like for SVG faucet, we wanted to return it. There was a bug in the SVG or something, or something that could be improved. Then uh, we could um, go ahead and create a new SVG faucet with the changes, compile the con the contract, deploy it, and then we could replace the new one with the, or we could replace the old one with the new one. So that's replacing. Of course, we can remove these faucets from the diamond as well. And uh, so, oh yeah, so also uh, like, you know, this could get really long, you could have tons of faucets, but then you can organize it further. For example, uh, you could have like, like everything that's related to the ERC-721 Avagachi functionality or, you know, both game aspects and trans, you could, we could create a folder here and we could put um, faucets that are similar in the same folder. So we could, right now we have one level of organization, which is, you know, a faucet, but we could have two levels where we have folders and each folder you'd have related faucets. So that would be like a, another level of organization. Um, one of the things I like about this design is, is that it's transferable to other projects, meaning that someone else creating their diamond can use the same exact organizational strategy where they take related functions, put them in a faucet, you know, get another set of related functions, put them in the faucet. So like, it, it makes it easier, I think, to understand the structure and organization of a project if they're organized and structured in the same similar way, like like a framework, you, you know a framework. And then once you know that framework, every project that uses that framework, it's easier to get up to speed. So I just wanted to show an example here of uh, organizing a diamond. Um, and, you know, if you do it this way, you can really add a lot of functionality and 
and, and it'll be understandable. You can follow it. The, this diamond approach with faucets, it doesn't just organize your code, it organizes your mind because then you'll, you'll, you'll think, you can think with this. You can, you know, especially when you're familiar with the code. All right, there you go.